beats and bloggers. Stay with Gemma as she gets the latest from the UAE's biggest influencers. Excited to welcome DJ Bliss on the show. Now, I think it's safe to say you started your day with... Um, Karak. <laughs> exactly. I like that. That was good. <laughs> so did you? Uh, I'll be honest with you. Not today. Uh, I'm going through a detox right now, and that's the only reason why I haven't had one. But if it wasn't detox week, guaranteed that I'd start the day with a karak. Well, because I'm, I need a karak in the morning, I need a karak in the evening. I love that. <laughs> and you know what? I watch your step to step how to make a karak, and I know you like it extra strong with two tea bags. So oh, I was yeah. going to say, is today a two tea bag or a three tea bag day? Every day is a two tea bag day. So what are you replacing the karak with? Just this water then? Well, right now, yeah, just water. I'm just doing like a, a, a detox. Uh, it's because it's good to take care of your body. Uh, and so it's, it's strange because I've done a couple of interviews in the past week and they all try to ask me the same question. I'm like, pick the wrong week to do the detox, right? You totally <laughs> did. I, and honestly, I don't know how you gave up. I'm addicted myself. Oh my God. I like, I don't want to use the word addicted because addicted has a negative connotation, but I need to have one at least. I need to have at least one every day. In the morning, Sometimes in the too, evening. Yeah. Now it's obviously it's your latest track, obviously very different to your previous music, and likely the first song in the world written about crack. So what provoked you to write this song? You know, I wrote the song about four or five years ago. It was just like because we used to drink it all the time, and I was just like, oh, I need a karak, like you know, I need karak in the morning. So I just <laughs> recorded this song, and then the director of the video was shooting some stuff with the brand uh, Rainbow, who's doing like a couple of commercials and all that. And he said, hey, I know this guy who's made a song about Karak. So he put us together. We switched up the words a little bit. Um, and they were like, we're going to shoot the video for you and we're going to promote it. And so it was great for them to get involved with something because aside from it just being a drink, like this is something like that's part of our culture. Um, so I it's feel like... It's very social. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I feel like it's sort of, uh, sort of like the UAE hype beast kind of, you know... Uh, drink i guess so for them to get involved for me to be able to create this song and bring it to life after all these years was something pretty awesome and look at this we're sitting here at dance fm right now talking about tea with milk i know i know <laughs> and in fact many cafes could actually have it as their uh, beat in the morning and evening because so many people gather there to get their product so yeah. it's a perfect vibe yeah, drink yeah. it and sing it now it's not just new music you've been working on you also just opened up a barbershop at box park beats and cuts yeah how did you come up with Marrying this idea of fresh cuts and fresh beats. Um, well, f- first of all, I think you should definitely come to a show there because I feel like you know beats and bloggers, beats and bloggers, <laughs> and beats and <laughs> beats and cuts can work well together. Maybe you could do a live show from there. Uh, the barber shop was again a story about. Uh, I used to go to this barber for like four or five years, um, and I love the concept of barber barber shops or barbering. Um, and, and I always thought maybe I'd open a place. And then my barber was leaving the country. And I was like, where are you going? He's like, oh, my shop's closing. I'm like, well, let me try and open a shop. And it just happened. You know, the universe worked in mysterious ways. There was a place that was for sale uh, at a good deal. And I was like, it's time to invest. So I got the place. And then, like, we uh, we set up the barber shop for, like, three, four years uh, at this one location. We just moved to Box, Box Park. Park. Yeah. But it's a perfect uh, thing. Obviously, you're always going to be perfectly groomed. Yeah. And I have the same barber now, like, for almost 10 years. And, like... Was I, that in the clause? You can never leave me. <laughs> It was it was it was the foundation of why I opened it, but we you know it did really well when we had Will Smith uh, cut his hair with us, and that was like really just shot us like up crazy. Everyone started talking about us. Wow, no pressure on your barber, no, poor guy. No, yeah, 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 yeah. And I, I got a chance to meet him as well, like super nice guy. But um, I understand that attachment because I also get attached to my hairdresser. So when they leave, you really are at a loss. But now you're in control of that. Yeah. So that. you know what to do, Jenna. Next time your hairdresser wants to leave, just open it. <laughs> yeah, I'll just open my own salon. Beats and bloggers. Stay with Gemma as she gets the latest from the UAE's biggest influencers. I'm back chatting with DJ Bliss. Now, you're also a very talented vlogger. You recently received the 100K YouTube play button plaque. Mm-hmm. And your goal now is 1 million. What's the plan of attack? Oh, man. I, you know, I've, I was on a little break as well for a little while. But today is actually my first vlog back after this short break. So... You're going to be on it, Gemma. So I'm hoping that this good energy of Dance FM is going to push my vlog forward to this 1 million mark. 100%. Yeah. And I'm wondering, is DL Bliss your secret? <laughs> is, 
<laughs> your secret YouTube alias for down low. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the, why they did that. I didn't even like notice until I was about to make the video. But yeah, if you haven't watched the vlog, I got the plaque and then I look at it and instead of writing DJ Bliss, they, they spelled it DL Bliss. And I was like, I can either contact them or just change my name to DL Bliss. But uh, I it's still... It's a funny story. Yeah, it's a funny story. It's good because... People who watch the vlog like will bring it up, then I know that they've watched it because people mm. never really bring something up if you know nothing's wrong. So exactly, and all I can think is obviously YouTube. They also have autocorrect issues like the rest of us. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why would, the, would DJ change the DL. Right? I think he downloaded. Come on, Google. <laughs> <laughs> now, just in March, you celebrated Mo Vlog's birthday. Yeah. And have you still taken hostage his speaker until he accepts your offer to DJ his next birthday? I was shocked at the. the <laughs> DJ setup they had to be I honest with you like it was uh, it, it, you know have you, you've been to Dragon Mart right mm -hmm. so it's one of those speakers that you find over there with a little light the on wheelie. top yeah <laughs> you can like wheel it with you everywhere you go and I was like this is embarrassing bro I'm like even if I was if you because I think he didn't want me to DJ because just to have fun I'm like mm. I could have brought someone I could have hooked up the equipment and just DJ off my phone or something like that um, so I told him next year it's got to be a big party and we got to have some music and dance and DJs and all that. And he can tie that speaker up in the ribbon if it has to be there. I think we need to take that to like the Maktoum or Garhut Bridge <laughs> and like tip it over. That, that speaker <laughs> needs to go. That's yeah. what you think of it. Yeah. Now, uh, you also recently DJed on Fashion Avenue in Dubai Mall at mm -hmm. some boutiques. Yeah. And this is obviously a very intimate gig in comparison to some of your others like Abu Dhabi F1 with a crowd of 20,000. Which environment do you prefer performing in? Um, you know, I get this, asked this question a lot, and I, when I used to do TV and radio, people used to ask me like, which one uh, would you choose, or which one do you prefer more? I don't know if I have a preference as such because they're like each one of them is is nice in its own way. Sometimes it's nice to be just in a room with uh, 50 people, and sometimes it's nice to have like you know 50,000 people around you. Um, right now, I'm trying to push the focus to do things like concerts and festivals. Even my DJ sets have changed a little bit more to more like a, a show than just a, a DJ set. Um, with effects. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to get like the screen going, and uh, so hopefully I don't know 2018 2019 plan would be to do like festival shows and I got like dancers and like someone holding a flag and then there's like stuff going on on the screen and, and maybe a barber seat to the left of the stage yeah right before we go on I love it now you're not just in demand here in the UAE as one of the top DJs also internationally in fact you're about to fly off in just a few hours for Germany yeah I've got to be at the airport <laughs> at 1.30 if I miss my flight it's going to be all your fault but yeah I've got a gig in Germany in Frankfurt actually tonight um, no tomorrow night so I'm going to day early to, to DJ there uh, Europe is cool um, I think it's like one of my favorite places outside of my hometown to DJ in because people are a little bit more uh, like receptive to the music and I f feel like the influence of music that we play over here is similar to the music you play there so whenever I go to like except for UK I think UK has a specific taste because they have like grime music and uh, they listen to a lot of dance hall so uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to and then the States I like playing there, but whenever I go play there, it's not just a hip hop set. It's like a dance and hip hop mashup, or what they like to call it, like open format, basically. So really, you diversify your set between, you know, you did play at Ministry of Sound in London. Yeah. So now you're saying you've got to switch it up for Frankfurt. Yeah. Here, a little bit similar here, but yeah. it depends where you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Dubai, nice yeah, variety. Dubai, Dubai is pretty unique in that sense. Like we have a specific, because of it's so multicultural, so you have like the taste of the UK, the taste of Europe, taste of America, and then like even the Middle East, like we have, we really have our own taste. There were some songs that we play in the club here that we, they don't play anywhere else in the world, uh, yeah. even international songs. Nice mixed bag of sugar music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's been awesome having you on the show, DJ Bliss. Thanks very much. Yeah, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Loved it. You can check out our full Beats and Vloggers interview at dancefm.com.